Hey guys, Pizza here. Back again for our White Star Airship series, now featuring Halgri Hen. Halgri Hen is the easiest utility class to build an airship since all you need is to be at least job level 59 and doesn't require any runes. And now without ado, let's get into it. First, let's discuss about the skill tree. The only attack that you need to spam is Focused Mode, which uses Destructive Hammer for 7 times every 0.6 seconds and has a 20% chance to reduce the equipment and headgear refinement of the enemy and then additionally reduces their refined damage reduction by 20%. The chance of the debuff can be increased by 1% for every 10 points of luck higher than the enemy. Since this is our only attack skill, you can put it on the auto skill slot. And then Blasting Furnace has a 60% chance to inflict burn which is good for Ronin's status vulnerability passive skill. Lucky Refine which is a buff that increases self and teammates armor and headwear refinement by maximum of plus 18 for 20 seconds. Additionally if their equipments are plus 15, will gain 10% damage and magic damage reduction. Blood Boiled Refinement will be the sustained skill, which restores 5% of max HP if you inflict Refine Reduction or Attack an MVP. And then Lucky Cart for extra 50 luck and 20% move speed when wearing a cart. Additionally, it also increases defenses for every 5 points of luck. Lastly, avoid putting skill points on high temperature reaction as it inflicts stun to enemy when using a skill which is not advisable as it overrides the burn effect. Additionally, also avoid using ultimate tampering when the MVP is Tau Gunka, so you will not accidentally taunt the Falling Stone. Now for the rune placement, again no runes are required for Halgri Hint. Just need to build him as a tank to consistently apply the refinement reduction and debuffs. So equip all the blue and yellow attribute runes for damage reductions. As for arcane runes, also equip the runes that will give more survivability. And now for stats allocation. First, put Dex just enough to reach 500 hit, then max Vit for more HP and survivability, and then max Luck to increase the chance of reducing the refinement level of the monsters. As for the equipment setup, again feel free to adjust anything if you have another option. First, here's my ancient equipments. As for the enchant, make sure to have at least 100% poison resist to counter plague or poison affix. And then bunny slippers is for combo with arcane codex for an extra 5% cooldown reduction so we can spam focused mode. As for my weapon, it's from Cryptura Academy which gives minus 15% SP costs and is also inlaid with resist enchant. Pouring sleepy hat is for additional sustain just in case your anti-fatal is on cooldown. Must be inlaid with nightmare card so the sleep will not proc. For face gear, another option is unexpected damage to reduce the target's damage reduction by 5%. And then fate wheel or rock and roll cactus for back gear if you want more cooldown reduction. And then here are my shadow equipment side, notably just equip all the items that will give you more damage reductions and survivability. Now let's head on to the White Star Airship demo run. For this week, the MVPs are Garm, Wasteland Lord, Fire Witch, Seed of Idrasil, and Dark Sniper Divine. Then the affix is Reinforce, which is a very good counter of Halgri Hin, and then Plague. Before starting, make sure to consume Prontra Royal Salad for cast delay and anti-fatal, and don't forget Meal Bees for additional stats. Then before the MVP lands, use Lucky Refine to increase your team's equipment refinement. Then just spam focused mode to decrease the monster's equipment refinement to make them more squishier, as well as to apply the debuffs coming from our headwares. And then don't forget to use Blasting Furnace to inflict burn effect on the monsters. A tip for Garm for utility classes, destroy the nearby shards around you to avoid him from restoring a percentage of his HP.
And then basically that's it. Building Halgrihin in airship is easy. You just need to consistently apply the debuffs, so it's advisable for a cooldown reduction build. And no problem for sustain too, because of Blood Boiled Refinement, which restores 5% of max HP when attacking an MVP. And that's all for this video guys. If you have a question just comment it down below so I can answer it as fast as I can. Also don't forget to give a like or subscribe to stay tuned for more. See you guys again next time and thank you for watching.